Review, 2023 Toyota GR Corolla has the willpower to back up its attitude. Please support us by pressing the like button and subscribe so that this channel will grow and provide many benefits for you, thank you. Back in the 1970s and early 1980s when I was going to the drag races with my dad, the occasional flat four-powered Volkswagen would appear among a sea of V8 Fords and Chevys. The little rear-engined, air-cooled Beetles would buzz down the quarter-mile more slowly than most of the muscle cars that populated the track, but every once in a while one would put up a respectable ET. Willpower, my dad would shout, in reference to the flat-four motivation that made them so quick. Meanwhile, the muscle cars would rely mostly on big displacement V8s. The 2023 Toyota Corolla GR is chock full of willpower, and it's just as impressive as those quick drag beetles from decades ago. Powered by a tiny 1.6-liter Turbo 3, it can't rely on displacement to make it quick. Instead, it uses a heaping helping of turbo boost and the willpower of the enthusiast Toyota engineers who turned an automotive appliance into a fun hot hatch with analog appeal. The 12-valve, dual-overhead cam engine, known internally as G16E GTS, is also used in the well-reviewed GR Yaris, which we don't get in the US. That engine has 20.3 psi of boost and most turbo engines get about 15 psi. But in the GR Corolla, Toyota engineers shove 25.2 psi of turbo boost down the throat of the engine. In the limited run, just 200, Marizo edition, that increases to 26.2 psi of boost. Both versions make 300 horsepower, but the extra boost in the Marizo increases torque from 273 lbft of torque to 295 lbft of torque. The engine uses some motorsport technology to ring 300 horses out of three cylinders, including a machined intake port, large diameter exhaust valves, and multi-oil jet piston cooling. It also employs both port and direct fuel injection, a system Toyota calls D4S, to maximize power and fuel economy, though it's not very efficient given its size, earning the GR Corolla estimated fuel economy ratings of 21 miles per gallon city, 28 highway, 24 combined. The G16e GTS asks drivers to beat on it. With a single scroll ball bearing turbo and so much boost, peak torque takes its sweet time to arrive, hitting its plateau from 3000 to 5000 rpm. It spools up even later in the Marizo, arriving at 3250 rpm and dropping off at 4600 rpm. If you just drove it conservatively on the street, you might not realize it's powerful at all after all we seldom exceed 3,000 RPM on our daily commutes. On a 2-plus mile track at the Utah Motorsports campus at Toyota's Media Drive program, that means I have to rail on it to access the power. Luckily, the engine revs freely, and low gearing helps me get into the power band quickly. The power doesn't hit hard. Instead, it takes a beat or two to build, then pushes the car forward to hit 60 miles per hour from a stop in a touch under 5 seconds, Toyota quotes 4.99 seconds for the core and circuit edition and 4.93 seconds for the Marizo. Willpower The little 3 gives its all on the track. It's both fun to shift and important to do so regularly to keep the engine on boil between 3000 and 7000 revs. A graphic tachometer flashes gray, orange, and finally red as the engine approaches, then hits, its 7000 RPM redline. With a shorter final gear ratio, that rev band feels meatier and easier to access in the Marizo, even though the max torque band is smaller. On this 16-turn track, for instance, the Marizo requires 5 upshifts into 4th gear compared to an average of 3 in the other models because the shorter gearing makes it rev higher more often. A 6-speed manual transmission performs those shifts. The gearbox is short, positive shifts in a clutch with moderate weight and a slightly grabby take-up point that can lead to stalls when shifting to first gear during the first few drives. Toyota calls it the IMT transmission in reference to its standard downshift rev matching that can be turned off, on as the default, via a button on the lower dash. Making a manual the only choice is one sign that the GR Corolla was developed by enthusiasts for enthusiasts. Another clue? 
The Marizo model is named after the racing name of Toyota CEO, Akio Toyota, who has to sign off on the driving character of every Toyota sports car before it makes it to market. The willpower of Toyota's enthusiast engineers doesn't end with the engine. While the Corolla hatchback's roots are pure economy car, the GR team buttoned it up quite well. To firm up the body structure, they added underfloor tunnel and rear wheelhouse braces, plus 349 spot welds and 9 feet of bonding material. The Marizo increases the amount of bonding material to almost 20 feet, and also gets two rear cabin braces. Every GR Corolla has a Macpherson strut front suspension with track tune dampers, springs, and stabilizer bars. Double wishbones at the rear make room for the brand's GR for all-wheel drive system, which was developed with an assist from Toyota's Gazoo Racing World Rally Team. The Marizo improves the rear suspension with track-tuned coil springs and monotube shocks out back. Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.